positioned yourself did in the first day of practice? Real well. I think we had a solid first day. Um, obviously a lot of work ahead, but for day one, uh, I thought we looked pretty sharp. Uh, Nakia Watson, obviously he just transferred here and he's getting dialed in, learning the plays. Javinzi Bazil, um, all the young guys, and then uh, Dion, yeah, he's, he's, he'll be here shortly. Talk about Nikki a little bit and the experience back home from Wisconsin. What does he kind of bring to your running back room? Yeah, he brings a different dynamic. I think he's more of a power back. He's a real big dude, and you can tell he's really strong and powerful. Um, obviously, in the offseason, I got to live with him a lot. I can tell he's a real strong dude, so I'm excited to watch him ball, and I think it's going to be a great, great running back room this year. Max, is the first day of practice, is it just a sense of happy to be back? Is that the feeling? It's beautiful out here, man. I love it. I mean, the whole team's excited. We've been fired up. We've been uh, training super hard this offseason, just been eager to come out here. And uh, it's finally here, so uh, we're, we're real pumped up about it. Does it make it even more special considering what you guys went through last year? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, obviously, now that COVID's kind of down and down a little bit, uh, obviously we've got to stay healthy and um, be smart about everything. But it seems like things are kind of getting back to normal, fans in the stadium, and uh, a smooth, good first day of practice, so we can't complain. I would just say the offensive line, they're going to be very important for your job going forward here. A lot of experience there on that offensive line. Where do they rank in your four years here? I'd say it's one of the best O-lines I've played with. Um, obviously, a lot of the a lot of dudes came back. Um, Abe Lucas, Liam Ryan, all of them. Literally, every the whole, all the starters are solid, and I'm, I'm excited for them. I think it's going to be a big year, and they're going to help us out tremendously. Um, obviously, the running backs in the running game, and then the quarterbacks and the throwing, and I think they're going to make some big holes for me, so I'm excited. <laughs> Yeah, he's obviously he's he's been working real hard, um, and uh, I'm excited for him this season. I think it's going to be his year, and uh, he's looking good out there. He's he's a big dude, funny dude, and uh, he brings great character to the O line. So I'm excited for him, and I'm excited for a great season with him. I think you guys have uh, something like 118 players in the roster. Does it feel like a bigger team this year, just with the extra the super seniors, and the extra roster spots, and <laughs> when you're in the locker room or meeting rooms, it just feels like a bigger. Yeah, there's so many dudes on this team, it's crazy. <laughs> like, I think we're still missing 20 or so guys from our team that didn't make it for the first cut of camp, and it's it's kind of crazy. The locker room, we had to extend a little bit, obviously, so it's it's weird, but I guess it's what COVID does, man. <laughs> what does the makeshift locker room look like? Are you guys yeah, putting two guys in one locker? Or? No, yeah, obviously with COVID, we're, we're being smart about that, so we just... Unfortunately, we ripped out our game room. Well, honestly, we haven't played in the game room in years, like a year because of COVID anyways, but... They ripped our game room out and threw a bunch of lockers in there, and all the freshmen are in there. So, <laughs> welcome to college football. <laughs> you got a taste of the run and shoot last year with practice and then with the, with the one game. But how have you kind of noticed your role has changed from maybe you know catching a lot of passes in the air raid to being more of a pure running back in the run and shoot? Yeah, obviously, big difference for me as far as Leach's offense to this offense. Um, more traditional running back in this offense. I mean, running the ball a lot more and. Uh, it's going to be huge for me as well as pass pro. Um, obviously, I can prove myself in that aspect. And if I have aspirations of playing at the next level, that's that's huge. So uh, I'm excited for pass pro. And then running the ball, obviously, of different zone schemes, outside zone, inside zone, um, gap schemes, all that. I'm excited to just run the ball. It's felt like Leach's offense would frustrate me sometimes. I'd be like, just run the ball. But we wouldn't do it. So <laughs> it got frustrating. But I'm just excited um, for the running back room and myself. I think it's going to be a big year running the ball. We got some dudes. We got some studs. And it uh, should be good. You referenced oh, go I was gonna, You referenced the young guys earlier. You're not one of those young guys anymore, right? What's it like coming into camp knowing that you're one of those guys that people look to because you, cause you've been around? It's weird not being a young guy. It feels like just yesterday I, was, I blinked and I'm already a senior. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, obviously, being able to lead these guys and kind of show them the ropes. Uh, I've been through some fall camps in my days, and this is a breeze now being out here, not in Lewiston, Idaho. Uh, a lot of different vibes out here, so it's it's good to be just at home and sleep in my own bed. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to help lead the young guys and bring them up with me and teach them things. And obviously, on and off the field, because fall camp can be pretty mentally draining, especially for the freshmen, because they're away from home and it's it's a lot to deal with. <laughs> going to have that senior leadership, you, Abe, uh, Jihad, all on these teams that were, you know, that have been here for years now. How important is it to have, especially the, with the COVID year last year, to have that leadership on this team? 
Yeah, I think it's huge. Um, bringing back vets is always a great thing, and having guys who can lead this team is obviously going to be something that's going to help us win games. Um, it starts it started long ago, started in the off season, and I think all of us vets have been leading this team and trying to do every little thing we can right so we can have a successful season. You, you've never had a training camp where there wasn't a quarterback battle happening here. Uh, four straight years, four, four quarterback battles. Just what have you learned about that process? <laughs> I've learned that. I will never know who my quarterback is going to be until like the day of, it seems like. <laughs> At least with Leach. Uh, I'm not sure with how it's going to go with Rolo, but it's been interesting. Um, obviously getting reps with many guys and many many good players, it's it's pretty fun. And uh, I think it's going to be a great battle this this fall camp. Um, obviously three studs heading into it, and uh, I'm excited for them. It's going to be a battle for sure. <laughs> Did you guys know ahead of time last year about Jaden, or was that, was that a day of thing? That, I, know, I know you weren't playing necessarily, but... Yeah, um, we learned a little bit quicker than we did with Leach, but uh, it was still later on. I think hopefully we can figure one out pretty quickly just because I feel like personally and for the team, I think it's best that we practice with the with the starting quarterback just so we can get used to him and get in rhythm. The last one for Max. Who wants it? What was your, what was your favorite moment for practice, whether it was a, a play or maybe an interaction? Or... Today? Man. Favorite interaction. I, I honestly like uh, catching some uh, kick returns with the young guys and just kind of teaching them a little bit of the, the ways and techniques and forms. Um, obviously, a lot, of, a lot of freshmen are out there doing it today, trying to get reps, so I was helping them out with that, and hopefully I get a shot at kick returns this season.